Today I am happy to share a really cool app for calculating shutter speed times with long exposures. The app is only 99 cents, it's called Slower Shutter. Slower Shutter is really, really cool because it's very minimalistic. It's designed specifically for one purpose, which is to calculate your long exposures and notify you when that exposure is done. So the way it works is when you look, you launch the app, and again, it's only, it's only 99 cents. You launch the app and you put in your, um, your normal shutter speed without any neutral density filters. So let's say it's one to one to the second, and you have a two-stop neutral density filter. You'll see that your shutter speed after the filter is uh, a 50th of a second. Now that's something that your camera can do, you know, in camera. You don't need the timer. So if you went to go do it, um, it would actually yell at you saying, you know, use your actual camera because you don't need this app for it. But let's say we make that longer and then longer and we can go up to 16 stops neutral density filter. So here you go, 41 seconds. 20 seconds. So if I did 20 seconds, um, that will actually start timing. So here we go, 20 seconds. And then when it's all done, the phone actually will make an alert so you know that your time is done. So here is eight, seven, six, five, four. I don't know if you heard that, but the phone just vibrated. Um, I can do it again uh, in a little bit and I'll even put it closer to the microphone so you hear it but um, pretty much you get in a little alert and you know that your time is done so um, this is really nice because you can go you know very long time here's a 30 second beforehand and a 12 stop exposure the longest it can go is 546 hours and 8 seconds so it's really nice that it calculates um, your time for you so it saves a little a little bit of the time um, you know while you're actually out in the field shooting so again, how, the way you do this is you select your main exposure, which is, let's say, an eighth of a second, put in your neutral density, and let's go a little bit shorter, 16 seconds, hit self timer, uh, set, set timer, sorry, and then push the little, um, you know, you would have to push the little timer. You can start that and stop that by, by just tapping it. So I'm going to put this really close to the, to the mic, and here it is. So hopefully you were able to hear that. Uh, I'll try to enhance that in post in post when I uh, work on this video. Um, so there you go. That is what you do uh, with slower shutter. Ninety nine cents. It's from Mike Wong, uh, formerly of On One Software, and now works for Lynda.com. Um, I really suggest you check this out. It's really nice. And there you go. Before I go, I wanted to leave you with one more thing. Please visit UntitledApps.com. That's actually Mike Wong's website for the apps that he plans on building in addition to Slower Shutter. Now, Slower Shutter is definitely making it into my must use when doing long exposure photography um, tools. Um, I'm definitely going to be using this as my go-to um, calculator and timer for doing long exposures. Um, but I wanted to show you was, if you scroll down from the homepage, scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll actually see right here, long exposure photography tips. And if you click on that, you're gonna see a bunch of tips from me. Um, there's actually a link to my ebook as well on long exposure photography. Um, and you'll see a whole bunch of tips and you can actually tweet some of these tips as well. So um, there you go, uh, please check it out, share the tips, um, share the app, uh, enjoy the app. Again, it's only 99 cents, you can't go wrong for a long exposure calculator, slower shutter, um, it's untitledapps.com.